Welcome to Caching Waves. This is your LA Wave update for Polygon. I'm going to start with my primary count and then I'll show you my secondary, my alternative. This is my primary count and that is that we're making a flat pattern here where we had a three wave move. Three wave move. We cross past the 70% retracement of this A wave. So we're expecting five waves up as a flat. Targets for that, if this wave one and two pivot holds, our third wave is up around 225. After that, we'd expect a larger correction for our fourth. And our fifth wave target is between 293 and 345. Now we've got a little bit of a box in this area where we would expect a little bit of a target box here. between 244 and 356. Our one-to-one -one of our A off our B is at 244. But you can see our targets here in blue for our fifth wave is between 293 and 345. So that's my primary count. I'll show you my alternative. My alternative is if we break this pivot low that we're making a large triangle correction as a massive B wave and we'd expect a pretty big move after the fact. And we'd expect this to come down in three. We do have five waves down currently, because so this would make an ABC, in which case we'd look for a long and protect the C wave low for stop purposes. It's a great area right now in my point of view, not financial advice to buy spot for a long-term trade and just DCA on the way down. I don't see it dropping below 50 cents. I know that's a little bit of a range, but for DCAing long-term, it's not too bad, about 40%. Okay, so let's go back to my primary and explain how that will pan out if our pivots hold. Go down to the hourly. So I have our wave one over here at around 98 cents, in which case if you followed my videos, I called this for the longest time that we were getting this move as a C wave. And this created a WXY. We got A, B, C, five waves complete down here at the low. I'm gonna go down to the 15 minute and show you how I'm expecting this to hold. Now, if it doesn't hold, I would anticipate that we just grind to the downside for that triangle scenario. But our low is right here. It's not on the right pivot. at 73.62 according to Binance and at which point we had three waves to the upside. Now we're on the micro now. We did pass the 1.382 on log but didn't hit the 1.618 for that ABC in which case we made a three wave move to the downside and it looks like we're still in a X wave to the upside or a B if it's a flat is a 335. I usually, I'm going to, moving forward, just label them WXYs. It's just, just easier. We get more of them in the crypto market. So just know that a WXY can turn into an ABC. And the only difference is the Y or C wave is three or five. The market moves in threes and fives. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, but at the moment here, I have a target. I have this as a still in the middle of a X wave before making our Y wave to the downside, in which case I'd be looking for a long. And we have to think in our heads, okay, what starts with three? We've already overlapped, so this isn't a wave four. So what pattern starts with three? Well, we can have a flat to the upside, as a three, three, five, or a W, X, Y, or it's the beginning of a leading diagonal, which is my current primary. We're going to come down here 
and make a diagonal. And it does match up with the first targets there. If I zoom out for our wave one, is at 112 on those larger targets, as you can see, 112. So it does line up as a di diagonal for the 112 mark, in which case we'd expect a further retrace. So expecting this to come up, the one-to-one -one of this A wave, B wave, C wave is at 88 cents, looking for a pivot to the downside after that in three. And I'll have to repull these pivots, but if we come up to that level, I would target the 618 extension, which is at around eight cents before looking for the pivot to the upside. Uh, I can't make those accurate until we get that pivot in. But also keep in mind, if we get an expanded flat here and we pass the 70% of this down move, then we can get five waves to the downside as that C wave and then make a push. So I'm, I'm not worried about this breaking highs right now um, because alternatively, I can count this as five, but this fourth wave is very extended. And if we have five waves down here, then we can't end here in five waves. It doesn't make sense. So even if we came up to say the 618, we'd expect a C wave to the downside as an ABC. So either way, I don't expect this high to be broken right now until we come down for one more move below this level. So I'm not looking for a short. I'm only interested in longs on this one. And once we make this, this move down, I will be interested in the long position, protecting this low targeting that 112 to begin with. So it'll be a nice almost four to one trade setup. Might be able to leverage that up as well. But that's what I'm looking for. Leading diagonal, series of three waves. Up to 112. In which case, if we zoom out, That's where we'd get our ABC back, retest that trend line on the larger time frame, and then go. That's what I'm anticipating for this one. You can see we'd make our one, two up to around 12 cents, come back, retest, hold above previous uh, resistance, and then take off for our third of the third. And if, if this is five waves, if this is five waves down, we can also just fall off a cliff, remember. If this is five waves down, we can break that low, and that's where I would uh, go to my alternative where we have that E-leg triangle. All right, guys, I hope that was straightforward. Looking for this, this move here, and then back down, then looking for a long. Or if this is five waves down, looking for it to come a little bit deeper and make an ABC, and then look to the upside. In diagonals, this can get drawn out, the uh, correction, so just keep that in mind. But looking to buy within this area. I'll probably put some buys, uh, some limit orders between the 618 and the, the 70% um, with stop at this low for now. All right, guys, that's it for this one. I just uploaded a Bitcoin video. If you want to check that out, make sure to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.